a big movement uh, going on. I mean, we talk a lot about, uh, you know, uh, 997, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., seven days a week, and also uh, 007, midnight uh, to noon, seven days a week. A lot of young kids in, in China are getting pretty fed up with that and the whole rat race and not being able to afford uh, a property. And that's leading to sort of the passive social revolution, which folks in China, I understand, are calling the, uh, the lie flat uh, revolution. What do you make of that, and how much of a challenge is that to China's growth? Because, you know, kids, young folks, they're the future for any country. Yeah, uh, Martin, you, you're, I'm very surprised that you are very up on the top of news in China. People are talking about this. You are very, much, are very much on top. Yes, indeed, young people are talking about why work so hard? Why do we have to fight so hard uh, within our system? Yes, this is, a, this is the problem. This is the challenge. That is how to provide, provide proper opportunities and fair opportunities for the young population. Frankly speaking, my generation, my generation born in the 60s, we are very luck, frank, fortunate. We face, uh, we, we were provided with a lot of great opportunities. However, for the people, for the kids born in the 80s, 90s, and also in the new century, we have to think hard. We have to work hard to create better opportunities. We have to tell them that if you work hard, we have to create a system to induce them to work hard and therefore to let them to, to show them that if they work hard, they can, be, they can become Jack Ma. They can be, become a, a bosses of the small tech startup companies. This is a huge challenge. Okay, this is, this is the biggest challenge, bigger than the challenge of population and demographics. I agree with you. This okay. is a big lot of homework to be done in China.